All right, bet. It's on you. Yesterday, the heart gave me breath today. They gon' say the dream too big and you got carried away. Till you fuck around, get carried away. Then they wanna come ride the wave. But this one's ours. This one's ours. Back it up, back it up, back it up on. You ain't even got no wristband. I'ma need y'all out of this band. Y'all not a part of this band. Better love with my accent. But it wasn't by accident. Marble, these flows is immaculate. I know what my passion is. My blanket got filled with commas. Hood speaking in tongues. Greet me with open arms. When my leg comes shalom. These haters get no response. They hate when you don't respond. I still come with baggage. Just nice, new, even gone. If you don't hear shit else, I say. Remember this. dreams they don't believe in your hopes they might laugh in your face they might think you a joke you just know you a king queen just know you the go and don't you listen to these bitch niggas whole niggas rich niggas broke niggas i told niggas this was our year right here you been through hell let me get a hell yeah i told niggas this was our year bitch niggas whole niggas rich niggas broke niggas i told niggas this was our year right here They might think you a joke. You just know you a king, queen. Just know you the gold. Don't listen to these bitch niggas, hoe niggas, rich niggas, broke niggas. Cause this is your year. You been through hell, let me get a hell yeah. This was your year. Yeah, that was hard as fuck. It's your favorite star tender, Ty Nicole, and you're tuned in to Nando STL on 80 Vibe. Today, we're gonna be crafting up the Nappy Nando. Shout out to Nappy Boy. So this one is gonna be a mocktail, and Nando's STL's favorite juice is cranberry juice, so it's gonna be a little bit cranberry forward, all right? So make sure you have your glasses ready, but go ahead, get your mixing tin, place them in front of you. And the first ingredient is going to be a few ounces of that cranberry juice. Next, we're gonna add in some pineapple juice. So I did wanna add a tropical flair to this, to this mocktail, so that's why we're using some of that pineapple juice and some of our other fresh juices. Our next ingredient is going to be our orange juice. And to bring in some of that citrus and cut the sweet, we'll add in some lime juice. Now we are gonna be using some agave. That is more of a neutral sweetener instead of a traditional simple syrup. Now once you have all of those ingredients, go ahead and add some ice to your mixing tin. And while I'm here, I'm gonna add some ice to my cocktail glass.
Once you have your ice and all of your ingredients in your mixing tin, pop the top on and give it a great shake. You should have some really rich foam inside of your mixing tin. Grab your glass with your fresh ice in your strainer and strain your mixture over your ice. Be sure to leave a little bit of room at the top of your glass because now we're going to add in our ginger beer. Top your mocktail with your ginger beer. Beautiful. And we are going to garnish this one with an orange and a cherry. And there you have it, the Nappy Nando. Cheers and enjoy. This next record I'm gonna do is called Weekdays. I wrote it about my children. Shout out to Fernando Tillman III, AKA Trace. Shout out to my daughter, Zora Tillman, AKA Boopy. Daddy love you. It goes like this. I feel like a big dummy when she call, I come running. Instead of being my strength, most times I feel like she my weakness. Let me get out my show box. Ain't none of this shit your fault. I need a cane like old dog, but the support when I'm leaning. I'm gonna run up a check then, buy a crib on the west end, so you can say the best in when they ask you where you from. I'm a dirty smile on, crack jokes all the way home. Then I'll tuck my kids in like, don't, don't come in my room. I don't want you to see a nigga like this. Baby, don't, don't come in my room. Sunday, follow up on Monday, hit me back on Tuesday, promise I'ma get it, still fucked up on Wednesday, cause I ain't got no ends, babe, I work straight through Thursday, Friday we gon' kick it, said I've been down since Sunday, follow up on Monday, hit me back on Tuesday, promise I'ma get it, still fucked up on Wednesday, cause I ain't got no ends, babe, I work straight through Thursday, Friday we gon' kick it. Trace, that's my little do the man. He be calling me Superman. Sorry to let you know, son, your daddy cave got hoes in it. Nigga, I'm not fly as you think I am. I'm not God like you think I am. I get so weak, I can barely stand, get depressed and barely be. My daughter just the brightest kid. Ain't gonna believe what Boofy did. I gave up like she built a crib, she even put steps in it. Baby, I'm not fly as you think I am. I'm not God like you think I am. I get so weak, I can barely stand, get depressed and barely be. I told you don't, don't come in my room I don't want you to see a nigga like this Baby don't, don't come in my room Your daddy going through some shit Cause I've been down since Sunday Follow up on Monday Hit me back on Tuesday Promise I'ma get it I'm still fucked up on Wednesday Cause I ain't got no ends paid I work straight through Thursday Friday we gon' kick it I said Trace, that's my little do the man Sorry to let you know your daddy cave got hoes in it. Nigga, I'm not fly as you think I am. I'm not God like you think I am. I get so weak I can barely stand, get depressed and barely be eating. My daughter just the brightest kid. They ain't gonna believe what Boofy did. I gave up like she built a crib. She even put steps in it. Cause I've been down since Sunday. Follow up on Monday. Hit me back on Tuesday, promise I'ma get it. Still fucked up on Wednesday, I ain't got no ends, babe. I work straight through Thursday, Friday we gon' kick it. Trace, that's my little through the man. He be calling me Superman. Sorry to let you know, son, your daddy cave got hoes in it. I'm not fly as you think I am. I'm not God like you think I am.
Thank you. Take us away, Mr. Bean. Welcome back to another episode of 80 Vibe, where we bring you the vibe that is unmatched. I am uh, Chico Bean, here with my partner, Carlos Miller. How are you doing today, Mr. Miller? That voice does not match what you're wearing, man. <laughs> <laughs> we in here, man. We got the one and only, man. Very, very super talented. Nando STL in the building with us, man. Appreciate that. And before we get started, man, we come bearing gifts here at the 85 South Show. So oh, we want to give you that right there so man. you can have that. You know Thank what I mean? Check so it much, out. Bro. See what we got you. Take it out. Oh, show yeah. them. We ain't giving you nothing cheap. Oh, yeah. No, nah, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, swag man. with that. I would have wore that today. See? Oh, yeah, nah. Yeah, you see that? You see how we put that tough. together for you right there? Oh, me. We got to keep you in the game, bro. Yeah. Nah, that's cold. Appreciate you, man. All the no, way. No problem, bro. So yeah, speaking that's of crazy. being cold, bro, you just laid down a cold, dope performance. Yeah. Yeah, that was amazing, dog. I feel crazy. How you, uh, yeah, I was going to put it back in the bag. For oh, you. for sure, yeah, for sure. I ain't so want to get back to you. Yeah, you're fiddling with it. <laughs> That's just STL right there. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's yours. I ain't going to Taking it back? For sure. Thank you, brother. Now, but I'm saying, you just had a dope performance, man. Tell us mm -hmm. about it. Yeah, I did three records off my upcoming album in May um, called Yoda, Year of the Ape. So I did the actual song, Yoda. Um, the real song is featuring my label mate, Young Cash. Oh, yeah. Of course, the legendary T Pain. He crazy. Young Cash mm -hmm. and T Pain. And then I did this song called Weekdays about my children, um, kind of about being a black dad and figuring it out along yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the last song I did was called Loud. Okay. Yeah. So, what made you pick those three? Because I'm sure you got a catalog. Mm -hmm. You know, so what made you want those three to be the three that people saw from yeah. Nando? Yeah. Well, I'm signing Nappy Boy, I'm signing T Pain. Right. So, I wanted to always represent with that first. We just dropped that record um, January 27th this year. So follow up with that. Um, Loud, we just shot the video for that yesterday. That video actually comes out March 14th. The song come out March 10th. So I want to keep it recent. And then Weekdays is just a song on the, on the album that I feel like is different from every other artist. You know what I mean? From a different perspective. So. How did you start your musical journey? Yeah. So I play drums. I play piano. I've been a musician. Uh, I only been rapping about three and a half, four years, though. You started in the church? Yeah. Word. Oh, yeah. So you can get busy on them drums, then you yeah. can all the way. Yeah, we weren't going to do nothing else. <laughs> My granny's going to wake me up, like, bring your ass to church in the morning. So. Oh, that's what's up. Man, what's it been like working with an uh, artist as big as T-Pain? Crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's it's super like, talented musically, too. Yeah, yeah. I feel like all of it is surreal, man. Even sitting here next to y'all is like something you, wouldn't ex you didn't think was going to happen, at least not this fast. You know what I'm saying? When you say this fast, what do you mean? Like, how did, you know, how did your process go? Yeah, so I decided I wanted to rap as a hobby. Um, I worked as a financial advisor for Wells Fargo, and it was just boring as fuck, and to be honest. I felt yeah. like I would go to meetings. I was surrounded by older white people, no disrespect. But they're not watching. <laughs> we ain't had nothing really in common. You know what I'm saying? So when they would ask, like, what you got planned for the weekend, all the answers would be the same. Grab a beer, oh, watch Oh, my the game. granddaughter's coming up, and we going to. Yeah. We probably go out there and uh, probably go to the cabin and put some hot dogs or something on the grill. You know, they like those meatless hot dogs. <laughs> they look like meat, smell like meat. But it ain't me. <laughs> but it ain't me. It ain't me. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that, uh, I'm coming. I'm going over his house. That's what I'm gonna do. Right. Yeah, you know I mean. So I didn't want to go over his house. Right. So I went to the studio. Yeah. And then uh, it was just supposed to be a hobby. You know what I mean? Something for me to do for myself. I feel like I was de dedicating so much time to paying bills and working a nine to five and then being a dad. I need to make sure that I put a hat on for me to wear just for me. Yeah, something to have fun with, man. You say you got your degree in mathematics, man. Speak on that. Yeah. I feel like more black kids need to hear us speak about things like that, positivity, and let them know that it's possible, too. Yeah, I went to Fayetteville State University in North Carolina. Salute to Fayetteville State. Oh, yeah. I, I went to it. Winston, so whoever went to Fayetteville, you made a good choice, just not the right one. <laughs> yeah, man. On me. But um, I went there, and... Uh, I actually majored in music first. I was playing, but I didn't really like agree with the music program. Plus, it was like some bias in there. You know what I'm saying? Hit him with "Flight of the Bumblebee." On me, but it, <laughs> I mean, it wasn't necessarily the 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 music as far as like um, the selections. You know what I'm saying? All right, this is the truth. So essentially, I had a band teacher in elementary school. I got kicked out of band like two, three times. Yeah. So I got kicked out of band elementary school for fighting. 
Then I went to high school. I got kicked out. In the months. band? In the band, yeah. How look, how look. Is the somebody in your section or are you like yeah. across the band? No, nah, it was somebody in my section. Oh. We play these little xylophone things. Oh. But he wouldn't stop like playing on mine. So I kept like scooting his hand over. And the nigga like hit me with the little mallet and I just turned up. He gonna see this and diss the shit out you in the studio. He's still somewhere <laughs> doing that same <laughs> he gonna shit. Come back. He gonna nah, come back. he actually <laughs> turned out really well. Oh. Word? Yeah, I ain't gonna say his name, but shout yeah, out to him. He's a now. It's allowed to, yeah, Very exactly. successful. Now, yeah, yeah. how did you make your way to Fayetteville State from St. Louis? So, yeah, essentially that's what happened. Uh, my mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did. That's what happened. Uh, my mom married someone in the military, my stepdad, Eric. And you just call him Eric. Yeah, I met him when I was I was raised by my daddy and my grandma. Right. So I didn't meet them until I was about to go to college. That's really yeah. what like started that. I was just kind of fucking around, getting in trouble in St. Louis. So my granny reached out to her. Was like, hey, you know what I mean? You need to speak to him. And she told me I can go to school for free using the GI Bill if I come out there. So that's what I did. It was really me falling into it. I actually was supposed to go to the community college, but when I got out there, uh, we was I got lost. The day I was, I couldn't find the community college. I got lost and ended up at the university. I went there to ask for help, bumped into people in the band, and they was like, bro, just come here, bro. And so I went up there. Somebody walked me up to the administration office, showed me how to fill out the application, and I went there. Damn. Damn, that sound easy as hell. Yeah, no, right? It's yeah. Actually, you really made a real life. So you're sitting on your couch. You're not doing nothing. Right. Why don't you get up and drive down to Fairville State <laughs> and get in the band? Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's why I see why they say go to the HBCU. Yeah, like you can just walk up there. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, I'm trying to go now. Yeah, it was crazy. Now, mathematics, does, does that help you having an understanding of numbers? Does that help you on the business side of the music industry? Because that's usually something that, you know, hinders a lot of artists is not knowing the business side of it and not knowing the numbers and how to work with them. Do you feel like you got an advantage because of that? Yeah, always. Oh, that's what I was trying to tell you. I moved from St. Louis. I stressed the teacher out in elementary school so bad that she quit. You know what I'm saying? From dealing with all the bad kids in our uh, school system. So she quit and apparently she started teaching college, moved to North Carolina, and when I walked in the band room, mouth full of goals, fresh out of St. Louis, guess who the band teacher was? No, man. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm God. <clears throat> That's crazy. She probably was like, fuck this job. Here come this nigga. Yeah, she looked like she's seen the ghost. She oh, like that's crazy. But probably didn't even notice that she was checking them. <laughs> yeah, she couldn't <laughs> believe it. But um, so I ended up playing in the band for a little bit, and then that's when I decided that the program really wasn't for me. Partially because of it. I feel like I wasn't really getting the first shake. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So then I moved over to math. Uh, low-key because I was trying to do something slick in English. I had a paper that I turned in in freshman year and uh, it was about the death penalty and I got a 95 on it. Went to my sophomore year English class and they had the same topic they wanted us to write a paper about. I turned the same motherfucking paper in. I got a 75 and that's when I'm just like, all right, you know what I'm saying? I know I'm tripping, but you tripping because mm -hmm. somebody else gave me a 95 on it. So I wanted to make sure I picked something that wasn't opinionated. You know what I mean? Something you can just write down. Either it's right or it's wrong. So I chose numbers. Numbers don't lie. Yeah. Right. So with you, that's what I'm saying. Like with you having an understanding of numbers, like how has that helped you in regards to the business side of being over on the in the music industry and getting that, that yeah. push that you're getting now? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if it's been necessarily helpful at this part. You know what I'm saying? The only reason I say that is because I'm so new that I don't think I fucked up to know enough to know where I be fucking up at. So yeah. I could say it's helping me out, and then three years later, I be fucked up for real, and y'all be like, I thought you said it helped me. So I'm read not gonna say shit. Read the contract. Oh, yeah, we read. Who was reading? We. Me and everybody else. Shout out the whole team from St. Louis. We read it. We understand it. But I don't know of knowing how to count. Could you, you know imagine I mean? the niggas yeah. from St. Louis reading the contract? Nah, dirty. Nah, let me, <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah Mo, let me see that, Mo. <laughs> that ain't it, dirty. <laughs> it say right there. <laughs> That's hella funny. Yeah, accurate. Yeah, man, like, you know, coming from St. Louis, man, it's a lot of, you know, rich history in the music in St. Louis. So, mm -hmm. like, uh, I saw that you said Nelly's a big influence on your yeah. career. Like, have you had a chance to meet him? I ain't met him in person. So we FaceTime, we talked over the phone. And uh, he dropped a verse, so we did a record together. 
but I ain't met him in person yet. That's dope. It's coming though. That's dope. So did you like you said it happened fast? So mm -hmm. could, you know when you first went in the studio, from that time to you getting signed, how long of a process was that? Uh, wait, what you mean? Ask like me from you said you went to the studio and you was working at Wells Fargo. Yeah. How long from that point to when you got signed? Three and a half years. Oh man, yeah, that is quick. Yeah, like three and a half years. Hey man. Some talent is undeniable, but it don't take everybody the same amount of time. Hey, right. Yeah. God, yeah. got something lined up for you, man. Keep man, pushing, man. We appreciate you coming through here. I appreciate for that, blessing man. Blessing this stage, man. Putting on for St. Louis. What's your social media and all that? Uh, N-A-N-D-O, S-T-L, on at everything. All right. If you, had, if you had somebody watching this right now, never heard your music, what's one song you would refer them to first? Tenant Windows. Why? I feel like that's the one where I show my lyrical ability. I was talking about <clears throat> things that I feel like people who relate to me, who relate to my music, would appreciate. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I was just snapping. That's one of my favorite records to listen to, and it's out right now. Now you have a very unique story. It's, it's you know it's different just from sitting here listening to you now than you usually hear rappers. You know what I mean? You got a college degree. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You music. You play instruments. Like how much of that do you include in your message and your music? Do you do you talk about that or do you? Yeah, you know? all of it. You know what I mean? I, I only talk about shit that's happening around me. You mm -hmm. feel me? So y'all probably gonna get mentioned in the record. You know what Put I mean? me on there. Yeah, for, for real, sure. All the way. So yeah, everything. I, I just try to be my authentic self as much as I can. So, oh, well, that's love, yeah. man. That's love, man. For sure. So I gotta ask you this about T Pain. T Pain is one of the most unique human beings you'll ever run into, man. So. You know, I didn't, you know, we all done work with Payne and, and just know how humble of a dude he is, but how mm -hmm. talented he is. So what would you say has been the thing about Payne that has impressed you the most since you've been working with him? He crazy. Literally. Yeah. Payne crazy as hell. But he can focus on so many different things at one time. Yeah. I don't know if he necessarily can focus. I've seen him do a lot of different shit mm -hmm. at once. Yeah. And I think that's what I mean by crazy. Like, he the type of person that once he believe in something, he believe in it. He don't give a damn what nobody else saying. You know what I mean? Like, Payne talked to me like I'm famous already. You feel me? He talked to me like everything we doing, his favorite words is gotta be big. You know what I'm saying? Everything you do has gotta be big. And it so, do. some of the shit he be saying, I don't be relating to yet, but he believe in me so much that once we get off the phone, it make me feel like I don't believe in myself enough. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, it costs the same amount of energy to do some little shit as it do to do some big shit, so you might as well just do the big shit out the gate. That's true. It be hard to think like that though when you nah, ain't never did that. no big shit. Don't never think of no, no you little nigga, shit. You ain't never, nigga, you walked in the Fayetteville State and got into college. That's huge. Oh, yeah. Niggas don't know how to, that don't happen. Like, you know, you ain't had to do no fast fuzz or nothing. You just walked in there like, yeah, I'm starting tomorrow. It was like, yeah, good. You seem cool. Yeah. So all of that, like, that's an energy thing, man. So oh, me. you, you just got a man with a degree in mathematics. We are, people are already going to think you lying anyway. <laughs> That's fucked up. real shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel that though. Mathematics. I went to an HBCU. Even though people don't even use the word mathematics no more. Yeah. yeah that is very nondescript. Yeah. i tell you how, yeah. how crazy that is. I, when I went to Winston-Salem State, they made us take a placement test mm. to see where they put you. They put me in the pass-fail math class. Will you only get a P or an F? I got an F. I didn't know you had special uh, ed math. I had special ed math in college and failed it. As soon as the lady felt sorry for me, she was just like, you know what, I know you intelligent, but this just ain't your thing. Oh, I'ma give you a C minus and just so you can get out of here. <laughs> I was like, bet, you know, what is a C minus? Is that a P? She was like, yeah, that's a P. I, I picked communications because it didn't have no math in it. That's what you majored in. That's what I majored in. So that's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, just you being a black man that love numbers, that's just not something that we see a lot. So for sure. you got a different type of energy already, Slim. You are going to win. Thank you, brother. I All the way. That, like we said, bro, we appreciate you stopping through here and continue to be dope, man. Shout out to the whole Nappy Boy family. Before we wrap it up, though, I just want to ask you, bro, you're like you're a new artist to the game. Mm -hmm. What are some of your goals and what do you want to take from this game? What do you want to get? I just want to be fulfilled, man. I think at this point, all of my goals are aligned with being happy. You know what yeah. I'm saying? This is the first time in my life I ever got to do something I love for a living. So. I just want to keep doing that and make sure that I leave just as authentic as I came in this motherfucker. Hell yeah. Hey, man, that's it right there. As long as you do right it there. for the love, bro, that's the right way, bro. Don't get distracted by the other shit and remember that feeling. Mm-hmm. And remember that feeling. On me. Yeah. 
I mean, on and that. appreciate all the wins too, man, because you know that's really something that's hard to come by. Not necessarily the wins, but the appreciation for them. Mm -hmm. Understanding that each win is exactly that, you know what I mean, and and you don't put it in your mind that it could have went a hundred different ways, but the win is what you got to focus on, man. And you sitting here and being in this position, man, you done won a couple times over, Slim. So don't never yeah. let any time that something don't go your way or it might not seem the way you want it to be, don't let that make you feel like you ain't winning like a motherfucker, man, because you yeah. definitely winning, Slim. Thank you, brother. All thank the way. You, thank you, thank you, man. Nando no STL, yeah. man. Y'all make sure y'all check them out. Y'all make sure y'all. When the project come out, May? May. May yep. what? You know the date? They keep moving it. They keep moving it? Yeah. But Why it's in May for sure. It's in May no for day. sure. All right, uh -uh, so. uh uh. I don't want to do that. It's coming out this summer. <laughs> yeah. I like that. All the way. They might change it to a three more times. <laughs> right. It'll be out this summer. Oh, make sure y'all go get that, man. You got Nando STL, one of St. Louis' finest in this bitch. Yeah. Math matician. <laughs> <laughs> we out of here, 85. This next record is called Loud, and it goes like this. One, two, three, one, four. Raising that low, you where these niggas don't follow through, follow your dreams, no. Can't help but to follow you, say the right things, spit the love.
I represent black men. I represent love. I represent peace. And follow me on everything so I can keep representing you at N-A-N-D-O-S-T-L. Thank you.